In the previous tutorial, we have uh, made these two. And you might wonder, um, Eric, you're starting here with some information already. Uh, where is this coming from? I totally forgot that. So, where do you get it from? Well, you go to the internet, maximize it. Uh, this is a new tab, I suppose. I'm not a user of this browser, really. You go to github.com, which is uh, normal, and then Linux, and that's enough already. So it's Arch Merge Linux, the GitHub of that. And here we will host all our scripts to easily install and quickly install all the possible Arch merged versions. And this is the one that interests us now, the budgie. So all scripts necessary to have an awesome desktop experience on Arch merged or a vanilla Arch Linux installation. So that's phase four. So in here, you'll see these two files and those two files are the ones you need and all the rest are the ones we're gonna make together. But these two are the ones you need. So basically what you do is you click here, copy, you get away and you say, I'm going to make here a new file, a new folder better, open in terminal. And what you do is you say, git clone me the folder from Eric and get it in my system. Here you have it. You can just run all these things and all these things and have the same system I have. That's great. So sharing via GitHub rather than OneDrive and Dropbox is so much better because it's available 24 seven. It will not break, it's there. So the only thing you should do, if you start from scratch, you don't have anything. So you really don't have all these things is actually just copy paste and you copy paste that one and that one, and you start Control V, and there you go. But I won't do that, Control V, because we have already edited it. Because in here, in my version, it says Eric Dubois. It says here Eric Dubois, Eric Dubois. So those are the things I changed. So you should change it as well. You start with this thing and change it to another mail, another name. And that's all it is. There's no more difference between this one and that one. Okay. So you get it from the link here, AMD Budgie, I'll put it in the article. So that said, we have here already started scripting. And where are these coming from? Well, you can actually just copy this one or copy that one. Maybe it's better. Let's have a look. Yeah. It's better to copy from the setup git. And let's make one because I want now to have a script to install Budgie and to install the display manager. So, okay, Control C, Control V, that's how you make one. Rename it. And I have a plan in my head. Let's have my second screen here show what the name is. So I'm following this one, this naming uh, convention. So 100, you can name it anything you like. Why do I use 100? Because all the numbers below 100 will become for phase four. In phase four, we'll forget all about Arch Merge and we'll go to Arch Linux, download the ISO from Arch, be in a black screen again, get our GitHub near us and install from there. But we need first to, to install the XORG, NVIDIA drivers, ATI drivers, the network drivers, and so on. So that's all scripting before 100. Okay, so we are going to install a display manager. That's the name, display manager. And we've chosen not for NDM, not for GDM, but for Lightium, so you know what's inside this file. And then we are going to use um, the budgie desktop environment. And I always use versions. So if you have a script that you made, then you know if you're comparing GitHub's 
I said, oh yeah, I've made an, a change there because I wanted Chromium to be included, for instance, and then you give it a name for uh, version two. Okay, so we have this script. We can check properties, permissions, allow executing file as program. So it's a script, all right. Open in terminal, ls minus al. It's green, it has an x from execute in there. So yeah, we can execute this thing. And this one is not green really, but it's green here. Let's have make it bigger like so. So it has an x indeed, an x and then, okay, fine. We are ready to run this, but it's not right. What's in here is something else. So we should get rid of everything that's in here between these lines. And then we have to recall what we did. We did, we typed sudo pacman. Can I quickly spare us some time and copy paste what we did? Oh no, I can't. I should stick in here. And this is the LightEM, but it's the Git version, as you can see. I've opted here for the Git version. So sparing us some time like so and then in here so these codes were the codes we all typed together but in here i have to say get me this one and not that one so that's an option we took let's get rid of it that's what we typed earlier on but but we cannot use uh, we cannot type mirror in there because it's it's an alias that's not possible you have to type it manually so pacman minus syyu lightm lightm gtk greeter greeter and something strange going on okay let's take a look at that something strange so we did not type that behind it so what is that well, let's go for the termite this time if we press termite right mouse click pin to panel and then it's, it's there all right for the next time. So we could ask Pacman uh, some more information. You can always type, try to help uh, to type this one. You can try to help uh, to type H as well uh, in if you see uh, commands. But in this case, we need to man, get the manual of Pacman. And it's, it's uh, somewhere down there where it says, if you want to install stuff with no confirmation so yes 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 install and then you have you can put no confirm behind it and it will not ask for it anymore here is no confirm that's one we found already and there's also a needed a needed somewhere and that's also interesting because the needed says if it's already installed do not reinstall it's quite handy for scripts because uh, it takes time to install so if it's installed skip it already so it's uh, much quicker to install your system so that's why they are in there behind there and let's run it let's see what happens if we run it so the hundred right mouse click open in terminal and let's see what happens Voila. always do that oh control c again passwords that's the first line that was this line this line is that one up here and then the light dm is going to be installed but it says nope I'm not gonna do it skipping I'm not gonna do it skipping he's saying to us so that's the needed skipping 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 and then he wants to install the budget desktop we did not add no confirm needed eric so control c control v next time he will not ask a yes and he will not ask uh, confirmation so i'll do control c arrow up enter and you'll see he will not ask anything anymore it says budget desktop skipped because it's already installed there you go we have now our um, setup is now for next time on ssd or next installation 
we can just run this script and we'll have a graphical uh, installation in no time, really in no time. And it's now up to us to make more stuff, meaning, let's take a look at the website again. It's that's done. We have done number 100. If you want sound on your system, you do, you do some stuff. So you should take a look at the wiki and say, what do I need to have sound on my system? What do I need to have Bluetooth on my system, etc., etc. What software do I want coming from the normal standard Linux repo? You can have a look. So I would like to have Atom and Baobab and Darktable and the calculator and, and Jiri and, and so on. Or I want stuff from the AOR, so Spotify, for instance, comes from there. All the Sally icons, the surfing icons, Minstick, G Radio, Dropbox, InSync, all these things are coming from there. And you can just write what you want, or delete what you want, or uncomment, or comment what you want. And then you have your own system in no time with all these scripting. We've changed something quite important. Don't forget to back up. So it's in here. I don't think so. So number 100 is not there. So we should finalize with always open in terminal and say, okay, get this thing. And it's going to look first for newer files. Nothing newer, of course. You have the newer files. Write your commit comments is going to be, I just wrote my display slash da script and then apply. there it goes goes online go check what happens here we refresh and here it is i just wrote my display da script and if you click on it you see that everything is ready for next time to run next time and it's so much easier to do work this way and i can hardly recommend it okay cheers